Good evening, dear colleagues. I'm representing Moscow State University, and I would like to present you my report dedicated to Roshinsky Malotkin strain rats, uh, their physiology, genetics, and behavior. Uh, Autogenic epilepsy in rodents uh, as a model of ep epileptogenesis is still actual for the researchers. This phenomenon uh, has been described in two outbreed rat populations, uh, Wister and Sprague Dolly rats. Based on them, uh, three currently most um, well-known sound sensitive rat strains were derived, which in order of their appearance are following. Krushinsky Malotkina, genetically epilepsy prone rats, uh, we start autogenic rats. Autogenic rats also, uh, autogenic seizures also are described in Vagrai uh, rats, uh, uh, which are characterized by absence seizures. Uh, two strains of rats uh, predisposed to autogenic seizures were bred at University of Arizona. Uh, USA on the basis of Sprague Dolly strain. Uh, Jepper 3, uh, they demonstrate only clonic seizures, and Jepper 9 uh, with tonic seizures. Another strain of rats selected for predisposition to autogenic seizures was created in Brazil. And similar to Kayam, uh, their ancestors were Vistas. It's a war strain, Vista autogenic rats. But the most expressiveness and penetrance of the autogenic epilepsy trait takes its place in uh, KM rats. The selection of rats for the autogenic seizure trait began in 1947 at Astankin Bio Station. At, uh, as a sound source, classroom bell was used, and initially only 10 or 15 percent. Uh, of rats in the original Wister population reacted with seizures of different intensity in response to loud sound. At the initial state, uh, stage of uh, the breeding, uh, most sensitive rats were selected and also rate, uh, rats are demonstrating so-called prolonged motor excitation. Um, briefly, um, after the start of the breeding, a sharp increase in the proportion. Uh, br briefly, um, after the start of the breeding, sharp increase in the proportion of sound sensitive rats was observed. At the moment, 99% of rats are reacting uh, with um, seizures with so short latent period and full tonic extension within. 10 seconds. Uh, during last uh, 14 years, uh, the strain is maintained uh, in strictly inbred condition. Um, here, um, you can uh, take a look of a typical audiogenic seizure feed. Oh, it's not working, but never mind. Cayenne <laughs> uh, uh, strain rats um, are used as a productive model uh, of several pathological states, including not only autogenic seizure feed itself, but also myoclonic uh, hyperkinesis, which has cortex origin, uh, acute disorders of cerebral circulation uh, reached by specific pro procedure of uh, sound exposition, and cataleptic states of different origins, such as spontaneous, postictal, pharmacological, pinch-induced, and also various comorbid with um, epilepsy, neuropsychiatric disorders such as anxiety, depressive-like states, cognitive and learning deficits. deficits. Uh, certain advantages of our model are following. Uh, clarity and reproducibility of the phenomenon, the ability to quantify indices, uh, non-invasiveness of the provocation, uh, the absence of uh, difficulties um, in interpreting the results associated with the side effects of provoking uh, pharmacological agents and certain genetic conditioning. Uh, in order to create the more reliable group 
uh, of control animals with similar to KM genetic background, we have started new selection experiment. And the aim of this selection was to breed new strains with similar to KM genotype, but different autogenic seizure intensity. Uh, there were known prone zero strain rats and uh, uh, four uh, strain rats named uh, labeled four uh, with maximum autogenic seizure intensity. Uh, the beginning of selections uh, is hybrids uh, of the second generation from Kayam and Wister breeding. Wisters were without autogenic, autogenic seizures. After that, two con uh, consecutive reverse crossbreedings with the Kayam strain rats was made an actual selection for the zero strain was started, uh, which is autogenic uh, uh, seizure non prone zero strain. Uh, selection of the uh, four strain rats was based on the fourth generation of the zero strain rats. Selection was provided for the maximum autogenic seizure intensity. Uh, here you can see that proportion of rats within um, with a zero reaction to loud sound achieved about 50 percent at uh, 21st generation. But even at present moment, zero strain uh, selection cannot reach 100 percent of indices, perhaps because sound susceptibility is very urgent trait in the rodent populations. Here you can take a brief look at autogenic feed scale uh, in conditional units um, accepted in our laboratory. Here zero is absence of reaction during all the time of sound exposure. Uh, one is so-called clonic running or motor excitation expressed in haotic running and jumping. Two is clonic convulsions in rats abdominal position. Uh, three is full body clonic convulsions uh, with the animal falling on its side and four is full body tonic seizures. Uh, after seizure feet rats uh, have a period of impaired muscle tone, vaxiflexibility, reflexia decreased, respiratory and heart rate. Uh, the rat could be given arbitrary posture. Uh, the state is so-called post-convulsive or post catalepsy. Here you can uh, see cataleptic states of different origin in KM strain rats. Uh, there are spontaneous catalepsy, or uh, post-hectal, and pinch-induced, um, caused by multiple subsequent nape pinches. This catalepsy is related to animal freezing in the face of predator and cups um, immobilization being transported by mother. Uh, here you can see the uh, expressivity of pinch-induced catalepsy in the rats of different genetic groups. After seizure, after uh, this uh, catalepsy appears after uh, the first nape pinch, uh, and it's most marked in KM strain rats. Uh, here uh, you can see autogenic seizure intensity uh, versus postictal catalepsy duration. It cor correlates to some extent. And uh, in the rats of different genetic groups, um, among uh, uh, different genetic groups, the most intensive uh, seizure feed and catalepsy duration we can observe in KM and uh, four strain rats. Uh, here is depicted EEG and EMG patterns recorded from chronic electrodes in uh, KM rats by um, before seizures, um, after seizure onset, and after seizure feed. We can observe typical epileptic uh, activity spike wave discharge, uh, discharge charges uh, in the brainstorm and absence of such activity in the neocortex. However, it's worth noting that the activity of the visual cortex decreased after a convulsive seizure that results in less in intense reaction 
to light flashes compared to recording before seizures. Also, in a chronic experiment, the periodi periodic uh, uh, appearance of epileptic activity can be observed in KM rats in absence of audiogenic stimuli and audiogenic fit itself. Here, the case structures for audiogenic seizures initiation and propagation are depicted. These uh, structures are corpora quadrigemina, uh, reticle formation, uh, substantia nigra, and spinal cord at last. Uh, in order to identify genes mm, mm, associated with audiogenic epilepsy, we have compared the transcriptomes of corpora quadrigemina in rats of different genetic groups with different audiogenic seizure proneness. Uh, these uh, strains were KM, zero, and outbred with the population. The expression profile of in KM rats differed uh, from Wester's and zero strain in substantial number of genes. Uh, the expression of genes responsible for the positive regulation of the metagene activated protein kinase uh, signaling cascade and um, genes uh, involving in the positive regulation of apoptotic processes were increased in KM rats. On this diagram, depicting differentially uh, expressed genes, we can also see that KM strain rats are much more different from Wester's than um, uh, from uh, zero strain rats because they have common genetic background. Um, here, uh, expression of several other genes, including uh, those associated with family human amyloid polyneuropathy, uh, corresponding in DNA repair system and oxidative phosphorylation are also altered in KM strain rats. These data confirm the complex multigenic nature of audiogenic epilepsy in rodents. Merely for illustration, uh, here are the data of receptor binding in striatal membranes of KM and zero strain rats. The dopaminergic uh, and NMD uh, postsynaptic receptor densities are significantly lower in the KM striatal membranes in comparison with strain zero. Uh, next part of my presentation is a little piece of behavior. Uh, it's well known that patients with epilepsy are characterized by increased incidence of nervous and mental disorders, such as depression and anxiety, and up to 60 process uh, of them um, have the confirmed diagnosis. On the other hand, uh, the general frequency of cognitive disorders in the population is uh, from 2 to 10, while in patients with epilepsy, it's up to 25 proteins. In our experiments, we were testing conditional reaction of uh, active avoidance in the shuttle box. Uh, here are curves of training. Uh, uh, you can see that KM strain rats uh, trained worse than other two strains. Only one animal satisfied, satisfied uh, the training criterion. Others reacted on unconditional st stimulus only. Rats of zero strain were uh, learning better than others. And uh, rats of four strain had an intermediate uh, indices. Uh, we have been tested uh, the uh, dexamethasone effects on audiogenic seizures and catalepsy in uh, KM and zero rats. Dexamethasone is a synthetic glucocorticosteroid which has anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive effects. There have been no previous studies on its effect on non-pharmacological models of epilepsy. Here you can see that uh, dexamethasone significantly increased the latent period um, of audiogenic seizures initiation and decreased audiogenic feed intensity. 
in KM strain rats being injected chronically. Almost half of animals um, demonstrated two waves of clonic running, which is indicator of lower intensity of allergenic seizure feed. Catalepsy data are not very expressive, but we can see that in rats of zero strain dexamethasone caused um, the appearance of catalepsy after sound exposure through allergenic seizure did not develop in them. Uh, we can observe that um, acute uh, dexamethasone administration did not cause any changes um, in the rats, but uh, its uh, chronic administration reduced the intensity of our diagenic seizures in Cayenne Fura. Uh, its administration and subsequent consolation caused the death of a uh, substantial part of the rats in the experimental group, probably due to secondary uh, adrenal uh, insufficiency. Uh, thank you for your kind attention. Uh,